Thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Alright everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to make this super awesome looking cloning effect. All you need is literally a tripod and a camera. It can be a phone and a phone tripod, but an actual mirrorless or a DSLR or even a red camera would definitely have a better quality. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Anyways, let's stop talking and let's actually go ahead and make this effect. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Now the first step would be to set up your camera. Make sure you have decent lighting and that your ISO settings and focus are correct. Then you can just get your actor to do their performance, but keep in mind, shoot in one single take, because if you shoot twice, you run the risk of moving your camera, which will then affect the end result. Alrighty everyone, now that you're in Adobe Premiere Pro, all you gotta do is create a new project, and today I'm just gonna call it the cl clock. cloning test um, number two, because I also did a cloning test before. Alright, so before I go on with this video, I need to say something, and that is um, I expect you to have a little bit of understanding about the program and Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you know nothing about it, click off this video and go watch my tutorial on how to edit a video in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, it's basically called the basics to Adobe Premiere Pro. Anyways, getting that message out of the side, we can import some media, and that first media would be to go into my drive and import the video, which is right here. It's going to take a little time, and now what we can do is drag that onto the timeline. Now what we can do is right click and press on link. We can delete the video, we can delete the audio. And now what you want to do is to crop out and see when your actor goes into the frame. And that is right here. So what I can do is just cut this out, delete, and then drag this forward. Um, next step would be to see if it actually works. Alright, yep, it definitely works. Now what you want to do is just find when your actor gets out of frame. And that would be right here. Right, now what we can do is just skip forward to when the, your actor goes um, out of the shot. Um, so right here, and then we can just see when he goes back in, which is in this case me. Right, I go back in right here, so let me cut this out. Let me, and let me drag this video on top of the other one over here. Now you see there is two different lengths. One of them is longer and one of them is shorter. So you want to drag the... Um, longer one on the bottom and then the shorter one on the top. All right now what we can do is um, we can see that our actor is me, my bad, your actor is um, on this on video number two which is the one on top of video number one. Now if we just disable the view of that one we can see that our actor now is on this side. So technically all you gotta do is just make sure they don't come in contact with each other and that would be basically the main rule. Now what we can do is basically do some masking and what I meant by that is grab um, your actor and wherever your actor starts to um, go or just a little bit before we can go to opacity right here click the pen tool which will give us a mask and then just draw a mask around our actor which is pretty simple and you can just do that and now what we can do is to drag this down drag this over here drag this up here like you're gonna make it actually go out a bit and i think that should be good um all right perfect now what we can do is if we click off um you can see that there is like a giant lighting difference and that is 
because um, lighting uh, video number two doesn't have as much lighting as before my camera's ISO. Uh, I got weird, so that means I have to lighten up this video. Now to adjust the brightness of your clip, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is clip, clip, click on that clip and go to lighting, drag on lighting effects. Now you'll see this become red, which um, in my old video I mentioned it's going to lag out on you. So I'm not going to render it right now, but I will later on. So what you want to do is click light one, um, like the arrow, uh, put this into directional. So then it actually covers the whole screen. And now you can see this is way too bright. So what we can do is come down into intensity and then just um, drag um, until the lighting is similar, which is right now. And there you go. I just brightened up the left clip to match with the right clip. And now what we can do is go back into video um, layer 2, which is the one where I actually did the mask. What you want to do is just click the mask and uh, in mask feather, just give it, a, give it a good feather. And then now you can see that um, I've literally cloned myself. Now what we can do is basically go into sequence and render into out so then we get a smooth playback. While this is rendering, let's take the time to thank our sponsor, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is a high speed, secure and anonymous VPN. What's a VPN you might be wondering? Sending data over unencrypted internet connection is literally sending a postcard. Your message is wide open for the mailman and any nosy people to see. Wherever you're on a connected to an unencrypted internet network on your phone, computer, tablet, TV, etc. You're sending countless of pieces of information out into the digital world that can be seen and intercepted by many different parties before they get to their intended destination. But with a VPN, or a virtual private network, it creates a secure tunnel between your device and the internet. In other words, it puts an envelope around your postcard so that no one can take a sneak peek at your private correspondence. Every time you are connected to an unencrypted Wi-Fi network at airports, hotels, coffee shops, or even at home, you're at risk. A hacker connected to the same unencrypted Wi-Fi network can steal your private information. With only the basics of computer knowledge, the hacker could gain access to your passwords, financial details, or even your emails. ExpressVPN can encrypt your internet connection using the highest standards of encryption currently available. It would take a hacker with a supercomputer with billions of years to crack. ExpressVPN also protects you from spies who use your data for their own reasons. Your internet service provider, aka your ISP, can see everything you do. US ISPs can legally sell your data to ad companies. UK and Australian ISPs are required to keep log of the websites you visit, the apps you use, and the private conversations you had for one to two years. Governments, large corporations, and websites constantly surveil you and harvest your data for their own agendas. Express VPN puts a stop to that by encrypting all your data and hiding your location. Now the best thing I like is content unblocking. ExpressVPN gives you unrestricted access to all parts of the internet. Many websites or apps are blocked depending on where you are in the world. Certainly, countries even censor the internet and don't let you access all websites freely. Think of a YouTube video you aren't able to watch, a website you can't visit, or a sports match you are unable to stream. What about the stuff that's cheaper in other countries like Spotify subscriptions, flight tickets, and online games? ExpressVPN allows you to reroute your connection to a server in a country of your choice, making geo restrictions a thing of the past. In the world we live in, there are many VPNs, but what makes ExpressVPN the best? Faster speeds. ExpressVPN invests in only premium servers, making them consistently faster than other VPN provider. 24-7 customer support. Live chat means your questions will be answered within seconds, not hours. Ease of use. Fire up the app and connect with just one click. Trusted server technology. It's physically impossible for any of the ExpressVPN servers to store logs of any customers. Top rated VPN provider. They are rated the top by TechRadar, CNET, The Verge, Comparatech, and many more. Find out how you can get three months for free by clicking the link in the description below. Now let's get back into making this awesome effect. Alrighty everyone, now we have rendered down the file and look at that. We finally did it, but there's still more to it. But I just want to say, 
uh, I could have done a better job. I could have done a better job with the camera because uh, sometimes the lighting was just too bad and I still needed to adjust which still made it very very unnatural and also sometimes the camera shook so that's also another problem I have to work on. And now you see there is a long clip and a short clip and if you just saw what happened once this clip ends which is this one over here by the way uh, that happens. If I just do that, you see over here, it kind of just clips back um, because there are two frames. Uh, what we can do is, um, you can, if you're lazy, you can just keep it as is, but that will basically give the whole thing away. But, or if you're some guy like me and like to refine things to the last of, of details, then what you can do is come to the last frame, right click, and all you gotta do is press add frame hold. Now as you can see we have to render the file again but I mean it still looks good trust me. What you want to do is to now drag this thing to the end and now the end becomes needing to render. So technically I'm gonna render this again and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Alrighty everyone, the end didn't actually take too long to render which is a good thing. Now if we play it back we can see the right of the clip stays like that and it doesn't have like a chopping back effect. Now that is the video done. So what you can do right now is first press control save to save your hard, or not exactly hard but your hard worked on piece of video. So then what we can do is go into file and then just export the project, go to media and then just put your output name and your stuff. My shot in 4K30, so I'm gonna keep it at 4K30. Make sure the time is correct and press export. And this is the final product. Alright everyone, thank you for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more videos like this, obviously like and subscribe and comment down what effect you guys want me to do next. It can be any effect that you want me to do in Premiere Pro and After Effects. Obviously comment that down because I read each and all of your comments. And again, thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video, make sure you click the description to get 3 months free of ExpressVPN. But other than that, it's Harry here. Peace out.